Eric's on the phone. Eric is on the phone. We'll meet you at the house. After going missing for nearly a day, two Edgerton 13 year olds are back home safe with their parents. And tonight, how their families are reacting after their return. Good evening, I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Sarah Carlson. First tonight at 10, Derek Siefkin and Emma Hansen disappeared last night and made contact with their parents just after 5 o'clock tonight. The night team's Margot Spann has continuing coverage of this top story. Sarah and Eric, the Edgerton community here is breathing a sigh of relief as their prayers are answered, but the teen's return is actually leading to more questions. There was a lady and she just thought she had to check her property and she just went out this long path and there they were. She found them. For the first time in more than 24 hours, Wendy Hansen Haynes is breathing a sigh of relief because she knows her daughter Emma and Derek Siefkin are okay. And then I get this phone call that she's with my friends that I left sitting out there and that they had her. <laughs> she was fine. They were both okay. Investigators in Edgerton and Stoughton have been searching for the teen since Wednesday evening. Emma's mom says they were found in the same area investigators had been looking for them. Other than being a little dehydrated, she's relieved they're okay. She's a little muddy, um, like up to her knees almost. Um, yeah, all sorts of stuff in her hair. Yeah, she's, she's, I think a shower is the first thing she's going to want. But while she's in the shower, I'd better be getting some dinner because I know that's the next thing that she's going to want is some food. The teens are talking with police tonight, but they will have to answer to their parents tomorrow. It doesn't matter because <laughs> she's here. <laughs> anything that's upsetting her or troubling or anything, we can deal with it because she's here with us. Now, Sarah and Eric, parents tell News 3 that the teens were a couple in the past. Edgerton police have talked to both the teens, but they aren't saying what the teens told them. At this point, it's unclear if they'll be charged with any types of crimes because of the resources that the police had to use to search for them. I'm glad to hear they're okay. Thank you, Margot.